Hello everyone, welcome to Apache Edge format videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how basic authentication policy works and uh, how to encode the username and password to create a base64 authentication header in Apache Edge. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apache Edge account. You can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic concepts of Apache API proxy. For that, you can refer season one, episode three. Again, this is an optional, which is not a mandatory thing to follow this video. Let's see how uh, uh, Apache Edge uh, basic authentication policy works and why do we need it. Let's say you have a client and uh, let's say your backend is expecting something like a base64 encoded authorization header. But your client might be sending username and password as a separate strings. So how do you take username and password and create a base64 encoded uh, version of same? You can do that using Apache Edge uh, uh, basic authentication policy, wherein in the request you get username and password. In Apache Edge, you attach the policy, take the username and password and create base64 encoded version of same and assign the value to the authorization header. Let's see how to do that same in action in Apache Edge. As you can see, I'm in Apache Edge. I'm logged in into Apache Edge as an org administrator. I'm under org Apache 4 mv 40 uh, click on uh, API proxies to create a new API proxy. I'm going to take uh, HTTP bin.org slash get as a simple uh, backend API and create a proxy. Click on API proxy, choose reverse proxy. Give the proxy name as uh, basic auth uh, encode demo slash v1 slash basic auth slash encode as the base path. Give the existing API as HTTP pin.org slash get. Then choose next. Choose the authorization as pass through. Choose the virtual host default and uh, deploy to test environment. Once API is deployed, uh, try to uh, click on the API uh, link and go to develop screen where we can attach the policies. Once you're in the overview page, try to click on the API proxy, you should see the same response. Let's try to send in username and password uh, just for the demo in the query parameters. I'll say username is equal to hello and uh, password is equal to world. As you can see, uh, the usernames are passed uh, and username and password is passed as query parameters. You can see same in the response. And you can see there's no authorization header in there. Let's assume that backend is uh, accept, expecting an authorization header. Let's try to cre see how to create same using basic authentication policy in Apache Edge. Click on develop. And uh, try to attach uh, the basic authentication policy in the proxy endpoint preflow. Click on press step, then choose basic authentication policy. As you can see here, uh, we are doing operation encode. We are taking the username from query parameter as well as password from the query parameter. And we are uh, assigning the base64 encoded version of username and password to authorization header. Let's remove the source that is used only for decode operation. Just to show you how the basic uh, authentication works and the, how base64 encode decode works, let's uh, try to do the same in an online tool. So I have a base64 encode decode uh, tool here online. Let's take uh, username as hello and world as password, try to encode same. As you can see, this is the base64 encoded version of username and password. Let's try to decode same using the tool here. As you can see, when I decode, I'll get back uh, same uh, username colon password. We are trying to do the same thing uh, using basic authentication policy. We are taking username and password. We are uh, creating base64 encoded version of same and assigning to authorization header. Let's see it in action. Click on save. And uh, let's go to the trace window once it is saved to see that in action. Start the trace session. Make the same API call. As you can see now, there is an authorization header now with a basic and basic 4 encoded version of same. This is the same as uh, the string that you have seen here. So that's how you can able to create uh, a base64 encoded version of username and password using uh, basic authentication policy in Apache Edge. As you can see in the trace session here, uh, before the policy authorization header was empty, once the policy got executed, you can see the base64 encoded version of username and colon password. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in Kamira at apache.com.